We overlook things that come our way that we just perhaps take for granted or don't even look, look at. And one of those things is dreams and dream interpretation. There's probably no clearer tool that each and every one of us can come to know ourselves and know about our relationships with one another, get guidance and insights into our future, and really even have insights about our health. And I travel around the world actually speaking on dream interpretation. I've been on five continents. And regardless of where I am, there's people who dream because we all dream. Science has proven that everyone dreams. How many people have ever heard themselves say or heard someone else say, I don't dream? Let's see a quick show of hands. I don't dream. Science has proven that everyone dreams with one possible exception. People who are criminally psychotic may not dream. <laughs> so if you're telling people that you don't dream, <laughs> you're suggesting you have very serious mental problems. Because as Casey would say, dreams contrast and correlate the events of the day. And very often we've had the experience where perhaps we go to bed kind of tense or unhappy or worried or anxious, and the next day we wake up and we feel fine. And the reason is because our subconscious mind has made sense of the events of the day and come to some conclusion, and it's like a big weight's been lifted off our chest. People who are crazy don't have that out sometimes. So all dreams can be helpful, even if we don't remember them. Now just imagine how much more helpful they'd be if we actually remembered them. Now very often when I talk about dreams, and I actually teach dream interpretation to our Casey Riley School of Massotherapy here, part of the reason we have our students take dream interpretation is when you're working on someone in, in massage, very often symbols or images or memories come to mind, and it's helpful to know how to interpret or work with those images. Very often people tell me, well, I, I dream, but I don't know how to interpret my dreams. And here's a, a dream from one of our massotherapy students a while back. Interpretation's a lot easier than we might think once we have a few clues. And this dream was a student who dreamed that her brother was in the backyard with a rake, and there was a big compost pile. You know, that's where they, you throw your banana pills and everything to turn into the soil. And on top of this compost pile was a telephone. And that was the end of the dream. She says, what does something like that mean? And I looked at the dream and I said, are you having problems communicating with your brother? And she was really surprised. She said, how did you know? She thought I was Kevin Casey. You know, somehow I tuned right into it. I said, it's in the dream imagery. It's suggesting that our, your communication, and we can all see how a telephone would be communication, with your brother is rotting. <laughs> and the reason he has a rake is he was actually trying to work on cleaning up this mess they had made, and she didn't want to really have anything to do with him. And very often, our subconscious mind will give us insights into a situation, a problem, an experience from a different perspective. Not only about ourselves, but about other people in our family. Sometimes people tell me, you know, I don't really have time to work with my dreams. And yet, if you found out that you lived with one of the greatest psychics of all time, that you had an elder brother or sister who had been through everything you'd already been through, that you lived with a great business advisor, someone who's really good at looking at future trends, wouldn't you want to check in with this person once in a while just to see how you're doing? Well, that's exactly what your subconscious mind is. Somebody who is really ahead of you every step of the way. One time I had a, uh, a mother come to my office with her 14 or 15 year old son. And the reason she brought him was he had a dream. And uh, the dream was something she thought that could give him insights into what was going on in, in his life. She described him as being stuck. She did most of the talking. She described him as being stuck. He didn't like school. He stayed in his room most of the time. He was kind of lethargic, didn't want to do anything. And because the dream illustrated him as being stuck, she figured out if I could figure out what the dream meant, we'd know why he was stuck and help him. So he dreamed he was in his backyard. And in a dream, a backyard oftentimes can be something behind you, something in the past, or something hidden from the outside world. And he's in his backyard. And he's walking around in the lawn with bare feet. So here's his bare toes right here. And there's all this lawn. Well, bare feet, lots of times, can be vulnerable, vulnerability. And all at once, the lawn becomes like cement. And he becomes stuck in the lawn. And that was the end of the dream. Now, remember, we're trying to figure out why he's stuck in life. 
So for a little while in my head, I kept saying, stuck in the law, and stuck in the law, and stuck in the law. And finally, I switched it and said, stuck in the grass. And I turned to this young man and I said, do you smoke marijuana? Oh. And his mother answered and said, well, he does, but he says he doesn't do it all the time. Well, the dream is suggesting that he has become completely vulnerable and stuck in life because of his vulnerability to marijuana, all from his subconscious mind. Well, why was the mother? Why did she keep talking? Well, that perhaps was one reason he wanted to smoke, you know, because he had her for a mother. 